So one practical ramification is men get together, they do meetings, and then when they get to their home, and they get changed when they counsel their wives, and even sometimes it whole you know undo the, their meetings as well. So if that kind of things happens in the U.S. churches, how do you deal with those kind of thing? No, I'm not, not quite understand. He comes back from the meeting. So, for example, let's say this is an elder meeting, okay. and they do a meeting, mm -hmm. and they make some decision. Mm -hmm. And then w when they go back to their home, mm -hmm. and their wife does, does, does not, do not dis disagree. Right. Uh, uh, I mean, they, they do not agree. So then husband get changed, and mm -hmm. their decision get dismissed. Oh, so wow. uh, how do you deal uh, those kind of things in U.S. churches? Well, I've never had that happen in my churches. I'm not sure that it's the problem. I know. I think that we have an. Uh, I think here's what would happen. Uh, Oops. If the pastors, the elders get together and they meet and they make a decision. Yeah, the elder or Rujama by Ratine Le Chalpal Garake Nine Gatsavane. And one or two elders go home and their wives change their mind. So that they want to change the decision. Those men would be removed as elders. They would be, they would be kicked out. And the reason they would be removed is because they are not exercising correct spiritual leadership at home. And instead of letting the Bible inform their decision, they are afraid of their wives. So you have the fear of man. Now, but, but let me change it a little bit. If, if, I, if we make a decision as elders, and I go home and I tell my wife, and my wife, who is a very quiet woman, she says to me, I understand your decision, but did you think about this? And I think, no, I did not think about this. And I should have thought about this. Can I go back to the elders and say, I think we need to discuss this again? Because I have new information. So I think that's okay. But if your wife says, I don't like that decision, you have, you have problems at home. Yeah. You probably should not be an elder. Yeah. You, you have too many battles at home. <laughs> does, that, does that help? Does that answer the question? Okay, and we have more questions from here. And, and our sister has a couple questions too. Okay, so let me uh, bring this question up and then uh, we'll jump to sister, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so you know, the Bible says that 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 so who will be the pastor? Uh, and then so tapay le bondu bani tarat yaha zani jostey baptism din pare bani bal orpan ganu pare bani tisse record so there might be Lord's supper, uh, baptism, and other ordinances, and who will carry out those things? Okay. 
Well, let's do this. You're all the el- you're, you're all the elders of another church. Okay? And so the brother has come to you for advice. What would you t- what would you tell your brother? Let, let's get some other guys giving some answers. So his his uh, answer is that might not be ideal, uh, and what he said is if uh, you know the, there's a women church, un, uh, until they get a male church, they might be functioning as a church. Okay. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Do you agree? Yes, ma'am. My question is this: that is that church is alien um, from where it come from? Yeah, because in yeah, the mean part, mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 So her, her, her question is... We're, we're waking them up. This kind of observation mm-hmm. in India, especially, mm-hmm. all pastors they are pastors of women because in one or two seats they will say men, or in whole congregation, if there are 50 people, four men, four men will be there. All rest of the uh, congregation belongs to women or children. So. <coughs> There is no question <laughs> because you are all attending that church. The women are more in number. Okay. Uh-huh. I, I, oh, go ahead. I don't know if you have a question. 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 So okay, uh, so one one of uh, one uh, what uh, he answered was uh, uh, we need to ultimately follow the Bible, but uh, if we try to create that kind of a 
a separate realm, then the, there will be person or women, they want to open a women's church. So this goes on and on. So ultimately, we need to come back to the scripture. And then what he is adding another question is, for example, in Deborah's case, uh, men were not willing, so she has to she had she had to step up. Uh, and there are many men; they are not willing, so women are active and they want wants to do the, want to do the same thing. Right. Okay. So in that situation, okay. what will be answer? Let's 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 take one at a time. So let's let's go back to the all women that are meeting together. अब इपहिला फेरि एक एक गरेर जाऊ पहिलो कुरो सबै महिलाको मात्र भेलाको कुरो सुरु गरौ आई थिंक द आन्सर टु द्याट इज व्हाट डज द बाइबल से कन्स्टिट्युट्स ए चर्च अनि अब बाइबल ले कस्तो के रे चर्च हुनला के हुनु पर्छ द बाइबल सेज दैट ए चर्च इज ए बॉडी अफ बैप्टाइज्ड बिलीवर्स चर्च भनेको बप्तिस्मा लिएका मानिसहरुको समुदाय हो एक्स च्याप्टर 2 के रे प्रेरित दुई अध्याय हु आर ऑर्गेनाइज्ड विथ द अफिसेस अफ एल्डर एन्ड डीकन्स अनि त्यहाँ चाहिँ एल्डर र डीकनको अफिस हुनु पर्छ एक्स च्याप्टर 6 अनि च्याप्टर 6 मा एन्ड हु आर क्यारिइङ आउट द ओर्डिनेन्सेस अफ कम्युनियन एन्ड बप्तिज्म अनि त्यहाँ चाहिँ जुन आज्ञा दिएको छ परमेश्वरले के रे प्रभु बोध र बप्तिस्माको who are preaching the word vachan prachar garne kuro pani daunde so that's what constitutes a church and it church bhane ko jitu so if you lack any one of those things tapai le tiner madhe kunai pani kuro chukaunu bha cha bhane chuk pura chaina bhane you don't have a church you have a bible study त्यहाँ चर्च होइन तर त्यो चाहिँ बाइबल अध्ययन गर्ने समूह हो एन्ड एनीबडी क्यान लीड अ बाइबल स्टडी अनि बाइबल अध्ययन जल्ले पनि अगाइ गर्न मिल्छ When Paul was establishing churches in the book of Acts, Paul had prayed to keep up my mental stamina. Got that clear? When they became believers, they were called disciples. Tiny aru, bishwasi bani pachi tiny aru lai chela pani banau dethiu. The disciples were gathering together. Ani ti chela aru sangai bhela bai. He did not call them a church until they appointed elders. अनि तिनीहरु भेला भए तापनि पावलले तिनीहरुलाई चर्च भन्नु भएन जबसम्म त्यहाँ एल्डरहरु तोकिएन दे वर नॉट रेफर्ड टु एज चर्चेस अन्टिल एल्डर्स वर अपॉइंटेड तिनीहरु जति भेला भए पनि एल्डर नतोकेसम्म त्यहाँ चर्च त्यसलाई भनेर भनिएन वन एक्जामपल अफ दैट इज इन एक्स च्याप्टर 14 अनि यहाँ नि प्रेरित 14 मा हामी त्यो उदाहरण हेर्न सक्छौ वर्स 21 21 मा आफ्टर दे प्रीच द गस्पेल टु दैट सिटी एन्ड मेड मेनी डिसाइपल्स अनि तिनीहरुले चाहिँ नि त्यो वचन प्रचार गरेपछि त्यहाँ थुप्रै चेलाहरु खडा गरे दे रिटर्न टु लिस्ट्रिया एन्ड आइकोनियम एन्ड एन्टियोक उनीहरु चाहिँ लिस्ट्रामा आइकोनियम र एन्टियोकमा तिनीहरु गए दे डिड नॉट एस्टाब्लिश चर्चेस तिनीहरुलाई चर्च भनिएन दे हैड डिसाइपल्स त्यहाँ तिनीहरु चेला थिए देन व्हेन दे केम ब्याक इन वर्स 23 अनि जब उनीहरु 23 पदमा आउने हो भने दे अपॉइंटेड एल्डर्स फॉर देम अनि उनीहरुको लागि एल्डरहरु तोक्यो and now you have churches abo church khada ba so my answer is this is you have a woman a group of all women ani mero uttar cha kya bhane tapai ko jani maila har ko euta bhela cha they can sing they can study the bible unar le geet gauna milcha bible adhyan garna milcha they can fellowship unar le sangati garna sakcha they can evangelize unar le su samachar prachar garna sakcha but without the office of elders java sama office to kindaina pastors they are not a church there is any office kere tyo elder kere not niyukti nagare sama tyo church hoina as as far as the the example of debra abo debra ko kura ma farkera au let's go back to second peter again dostro patras ma jao what did what did peter say patras le ke bhancha he said i saw jesus glorified on the mountain मैले येशु महिमामा देखे दैट वाज अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस यो एउटा महान अनुभव थियो बट वी ह्याभ अ मोर श्योर वर्ड अफ अथोरिटी तर त्यो भन्दा पनि महान आधिकारिक वचन हामीसँग छ इट्स द वर्ड अफ गॉड त्यो चाहिँ परमेश्वरको वचन हो सो डू वी अलाउ आवर एक्सपीरियंस टू डिक्टेट व्हाट वी डू के हाम्रो अनुभवले अब हामीले चाहिँ वचन माथि पनि त्यो के अधिकार गर्न दिने Do we allow our situation to determine what we do? अतः हमरो अवस्था हर ले हमें अब क्या करने पर निकूरा में अधिकार करने दीने? Or do we let the word of God tell us what to do? अतः बच्चन ले क्या बंदा सकते हो पच्चाऊनी? 
I, I think I would say that if you have a group of, of men and women and the men are unwilling to be a leader in the church, I would not appoint a woman as an elder. जस्तै मेरो सन्दर्भमा चाहिँ तपाईँको चाहिँ नि के रे पुरुष पनि स्त्री पनि भएको एउटा समूह छ त्यहाँ चाहिँ पुरुषहरू सबै अल्छे छ र पनि त्यहाँ महिलाहरू जति सक्रिय भए पनि म महिला एल्डर तोक्न सक्दिनँ आई वुड फंक्शन एज अ बाइबल स्टडी म त्यसलाई बाइबल स्टडी भन्छु भन्छु अर समथिङ एल्स बट आई वुड अरु नामले नाम दिउँ ना बट आई वुड वेट फर गॉड टू ब्रिंग द प्रोपर लीडरशिप तर म चाहिँ परमेश्वरले त्यहाँ ठिक अगुवा ल्याइदिनुस् भनेर पर्खिन्छु नो दैट्स जस्ट व्हाट आई वुड डू त्यो चाहिँ मैले के गर्छु त्यो चाहिँ मेरो मेरो मैले गर्ने निर्णय चाहिँ त्यो हो एन्ड आई डोन्ट नो एभ्रीथिङ अनि मलाई सबै कुरा थाहा छैन दैट्स दैट्स जस्ट व्हाट आई वुड डू मैले चाहिँ त्यो गर्छु एन्ड एन्ड पीपल बेटर देन मी डिसएग्री विथ मी सो अनि म भन्दा असल जान्ने मान्छेहरु मसँग असहमत हुनुहुन्छ त्यसैले म भन्न सक्दिन सबै कुरा सो बो यु आस्क गुड क्वेश्चंस तपाईहरुले कति राम्रो राम्रो प्रश्न सोध्नु भयो है वी स्पीक वेन बाइबल स्पीक Would even silent, where Bible is silent, right? Exactly. Nepali mo andin sa. Right. But but I I think we have to think through the Bible. Mm, let him finish and then I'll translate. Okay. Where Bible says, "Ya, I'm born born." Where Bible says, "Ya, I'm born born." You just pray to God and ask for it. Or or more than one, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. अब वहाँ अलग मेरे विचार में हमी बाइबल भर सोच फाइनल सो एकॉर्डिंग टू ग्रेट कमीशन दे हेव टू गो एंड प्रीच द गास्पल एंड बैप्टाइज दम एंड मेक डिसाइपल सो इफ वीमेन आर गोइंग आउट एंड डूइंग दैट वन एंड वट टाइम इफ यू सी हेज टू बैप्टाइज पीपल एंड वट सी डू That's a really good question. I need to think about that a little bit. But I, I, I would, I would say this: just because someone baptizes somebody does not make a church. तर इसमें मैं सोचने पर्च तईपनी मैं अलग के भूँ कसले कसाई बप्तिस में दीदा तो मंडली होते हैं द चर्च इज मेड अप अफ बैप्टाइज बिलिवर्स मंडली बप्तिस में दिए मानस समूह हो बट जस्ट बिकज यू हेव बैप्टाइज बिलिवर्स मिटिंग टुगेदर डज नट मेक दम अ चर्च तर बप्तिस में दिया मानस भेला होते हैं तो चर्च हो सो इफ ए वुमेन <sighs> say say in in some extreme places maybe among muslims say a woman comes to christ la ekdamai garo aptharo thau man man lim ekdamai hamjani muslim samudaya ma ek jana baini chai christ ma aunu bha now in africa i could never touch a woman ani africa ma maile mahila harla chuna pani mildaina especially a muslim woman ani bishesh garera muslim woman haru or even a new believer who was a muslim अथवा नया विश्वासी जो मुस्लिम समुदाय आी वुड बी ए ब्रांड न्यू बिलीवर ऊ जी भर्खर को विश्वासी हो बट शी स्टिल हेज ए मजलम बैकग्राउंड अज उसको मुस्लिम पृष्ठभूमि एंड फर ए मैन हू इज नट हर हजबेन्ड टू टच हर अस्को श्रीमान बाहे अरुले छुन को वर आई लिव खुद नेवर बी डन अभी वहाँ बस को संभावना संभव थे एंड सो इन दैट केस माइ वाइफ मे बी दिन दैट हेज टू बैप्टाइज हर जिस कारण उन बप्तिस में दिने काम मेरे श्रीमती ने बिकज आई कैन टच हर मैं सुन भी मिलते हैं नाउ एज सी ग्रोज इन क्राइस्ट अस्ट में बढ़ते गए पीछे मे बी दैट वुड नट बी अ प्रब्लम अब छुने काम चाहे समस्या ना बट वेन डू वी बैप्टाइज बिलिवर्स तर के विश्वासी कहीं बप्ति में दिशा ट्वेंटी इयर्स लेटर और वन दे फर्स्ट बिकम बिलिवर्स बीस वर्ष पछाड़ी कि अथवा उन्नी विश्वासी होने बितीक राइट कहीं सो सो जस्ट बिकज ए वोमेन मे बैप्टाइज ए वोमेन अब महिला ने महिला बप्तिस में दिवस नट मेक अर पास्टर उस पास्टर तो भन्न मिलते 
In our churches, we have a custom. If your son becomes a believer, we ask the fathers to baptize their own children. Because we believe, now this is in the churches that I am part of. Not every church. We believe that the first pastor of the family is the father. And so if the father is walking with the Lord, in good standing with the church, and his children come to Christ, the father and the pastor go into the water with the child, the pastor says a few words in praise. And then the father baptizes his children. And then we say to the father, it is your job to disciple your son. And we hold you accountable to that job. But does that make the father a pastor? Of the church? No. No. So. Why not? So. Mm, so, can you say in English too? Yeah, so he is fulfilling a duty of members, just members. are they ready to move on yeah so there are some churches uh, they have a custom to baptize tw twice as okay. well. so they are yeah, yeah. Some baptized three times. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I, no, I was going to say. No, and, and I know you did. She had some questions. Okay. Sister, uh, sorry. Yeah, it took a long time, but now you go for your question. No, no, it's okay. What was the question? Do you know the question? You can tell, and I can interpret for that. She was curious as to why when we were referring to women, we were all referring to mothers, not wives. Why did we not think of wife, but we did think of mother? uh, that's a way to respect as well. Okay. And you had a second question, I forgot. What was the second question? You forgot too. <laughs> yeah, but it, my, this question is not very good, many, complete. Yet. Okay. So, when they think that 
the who, one who decorates the home, they all said mother. But they <coughs> didn't say the wife. Because <coughs> they are living with wife. They are not living with their mother. Well, I think they mean their wife as the mother in the home. No. You don't think so? <laughs> no, because he said that we mostly affiliated with mothers. Oh. So that's why we... This was my question. This no, oh, what he said is, uh, in my culture, when we I call mother, 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 that is, yeah. No, it's is honoring your wife. When you call it mother, that's honoring your wife. It's a lovely name. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I think in, in uh, like uh, it's our question is why decorate the home, but when the people, when the man is uh, saying it's done by mom, if we say like it's done by my wife, means only to represent one person only. The mom is to represent in the home, child also there, means other people are also there, so other, other members also there. If mom is there, so this to have the same way to give the honor to the. So we can, I think this is the bad yeah, piece, yeah, I, what the culture I got that. Yeah. Okay. I, I wanted to say just a couple words about the certificate. How about your certificate? It says Global Centers for Missionary Training, Tactics, and Theology. When I was in Africa, I was working with Muslims. And God saved a group of Muslim people. And I did not have the ability or the language skills to disciple them correctly. So I began a school to train non-Muslim believers to disciple and minister to Muslims. And then that school developed into a school for pastors. In which we would go into the bush areas, rural areas. And we would train pastors who, who did not have a formal Bible education. So we would teach them spiritual leadership, theology, preaching, everything you need to know to be a pastor. And then that school became two schools. And then three schools. And then it expanded over into China. In which my son went there and he began to train pastors. So we started an organization which is called Global Centers for Missionary Training, Tactics and Theology. So if you go to the internet, it's gcm3t gcm3t dot org dot org gcm gcm 3t 3t dot org dot org so I, I want you that's who you're getting the certificate from so this was just an extension of that ministry. So that explains what that means. Because you will get the certificate and you will wonder, who is this? Okay. Okay, are we ready to begin again? One more hour. We're almost done. Page 53. Now we start to get into the specific qualifications. And everybody should be awake by now. With our discussion. Paul says in verse 2 of chapter 3. 
that an overseer then must be above reproach. And on page 53 of your notes, I explain that. To be above reproach does not mean sinless perfection. How, how do we know that? Because none of us are sinless. There would be no pastors if that was the qualification. Paul would not have qualified. Nobody would have qualified. What it means is that there is no notorious, shameful, or dishonorable sinful actions that can be charged against you. Which you have not dealt with. Listen, I, I have sins in my past. When I was a young man, I have some serious sins in my past. That a person could bring a charge against me. So am I not above reproach? Now, here's why I don't think that I am... Why, why, here's why I think I am still qualified. Because I have dealt with the sins of my youth. They have been confessed. There has been repentance. And there has been a long period of time of not being involved in those sins. In other words, the sins I can answer for. If someone were to say, in your youth, you were very rebellious. I would say, you are right, I was. And they said, how have you dealt with those sins? I have confessed those sins. I have, I have repented of those sins. And I have not involved myself in those sins for years. That is my past. That is not who I am now. And then I would call upon the church to give witness to that. So my sins are not undealt with. They have been dealt with. So, being above reproach does not mean that you don't sin. It means that when you sin, you deal with your sin. Now, are there certain sins that would make you disqualified to be a pastor. We talked about this yesterday. There, there probably are. Depending on how you deal with those sins. We have seen that God has great mercy and grace upon sinners. And I think it is God's joy to restore sinners. When they repent and deal with their sin. But a person can ruin their reputation, can they not? 
तर त्यो पर्स के रे व्यक्ति को आपने जो इज्जत सा त्यो गुमा होना सख्त सा होगा ना इफ योर रेपुटेशन फॉर क्राइस्ट इज रूइंड तापाइन को क्रिस प्रति क्रिस में जो इज्जत सा त्यो जनी बात क्यों बने बिकॉज़ ऑफ ओपन इमोरलिटी तापाइन को जनी अनैतिक जीवन ले और सम सीरियस एंड ग्रेट सिन तापाइन को जीवन भाई को गंभीर पाप को कारण ले you may not be above reproach tapai jene dosro vyakti unun somebody can bring a charge against you sorry somebody can bring a charge against you tes karane koi aera tapai la aula thara dosh launa sakcha but you remember peter tara tapai le patrus la samjhinu bhayo peter was an elder patrus elder thiyo he was an apostle u jeni prerit pani ho But he was an elder. And who elder? Pani who? Look at First Peter five. Ek apat ekre patrus paylo patrus ko pas mai erum ta. First Peter five. Ah paylo patrus ko pas. Someone read the first verse. Ek pat kasele par dinos. Kista kosta kosrachi. क्वालिफिकेशनिफिकेशनिफिकेशन अने उस लेते हैं पास्टर होने योग्यता पाए को उन पर सा। So Peter has to be above reproach। अने पत्र उसे दोस्त रहते व्यक्ति होने उन पर सा। How can Peter be above reproach when he denied that he knew Jesus three times? अने ये सुला चिंदी ने बने रहते हैं जो टी इनकार करने मान चें कौसरी फेरी दोस्त रहते व्यक्ति होने सकता। कौसरी That is a serious sin. Kina mani tyo the ekdamai gambir paap ho. So how could he qualify to be a pastor? Ani kasari je tyo pastor hunu lai yogya bansa peri. After he changed his life, and repentant consciousness became available. Nepal mani bandinos. Sangya. Ro yah, ani yaha ki kuchh mani. Ro 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 yaha ki kuchh mani. अभी इस तीन पट यहाँ हम लुका बाईस को चौदह देखि बैसठ में हे पत्र तीन पट इंकार कर रो कुछ समय में भाई इंटरव्यू भर सकते तर जब इस क्रूरोत्थान भैस धेरे सो चेला विश्वास योग्य भेटिं प्रभु को मिशन में पूरा कर योग्य मानी अभी योग आई सकते संगी एलर भाइस ये संगी एलर ये बेला मत भो जो दोष रहित पूरा पक्ष में भाई अभी मंडली को बीच में असल साक्षी भाई व्यक्ति मत बन <laughs> oh, what do you say? Uh, <laughs> what he said in English, I, wa- okay. I asked him to translate. Okay. So, do you yeah. remember what he said? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. He dealt with his sin. Usle afno pap lies in tik tama ta like us. And his repentance is as no- well known as his sin is. Ani usko pasta apni usko pap jati ke ek dami parichit sa. But go to John chapter twenty one. Ab yuhanna ek as mazanos. Look at how Jesus restores Peter. Patrus lai kasari Yesu le punar sthapna garnu bhati aeram ta. John chapter 21, kere Yohanna 21. And let's look at verse 12. 12 ma. Yesu le tin lai ma Yesu le ti haru lai bhannu bhayo aera khao. Telaru madhe kasari pani tapai ko hununcha bhani sodhne aat garena. Kinaki tin haru ko tibi haru le wa prabhu hununcha bhani janda thi. Okay. So so Jesus is walking on the beach. This is after he has risen from the dead. Yesu jivit bhar uthnu bhaye pachi ani samundra ko tat ma hiri rakhnu bhayo thyo. The disciples are out fishing. Ani chela har le tya machha marde thyo. Peter has seen Jesus a couple times after the resurrection. Ani Patrus le Yesu ekere Patrus le Yesu lai punarthan pachari kehi samay bhete. But I don't think Peter believes that he is fully restored. Ani ani patrus le jai, u jai ni puna rupa puna sthapani bhaku bhaye. 
So, so even though Peter had seen Jesus and Jesus had ministered to him, he still does not feel qualified to serve. अनि येशुले छमा दिएर पनि अझै पत्रुसले आफू चाहिँ सेवा गर्नलाई के रे योग्य छु जस्तो उले ठान्दैन हीज गोन ब्याक टु फिश उजे माछा मार्न पुग्छ सो जीसस इज अन द बीच वाकिंग एन्ड ही प्रिपेयर्स ए ब्रेकफास्ट अनि येशु चाहिँ हिर्दै जानुहुन्छ अनि उसले उलाई खाजा पकाउनुहुन्छ द डिसाइपल्स रिकग्नाइज दैट इज जीसस अनि चेलाहरुले चिन्दछ कि यो त येशु रहेछ एन्ड दे गो टु द शोर अनि त्यसपछि तटमा जानुहुन्छ Peter jumps in the water and he goes to the shore. Ani Petrus zai tyo ke re pani ma ham phalera cheu ma jancha. And they have breakfast. Ani dina le khaja khancha. Now, after breakfast the fire has died down. Ani khaja khai sake pachi aago nipcha. And you have coals, charcoal. Ani dya zai ni ke re ke re aago ka bhungro haru huncha. And Jesus looks at Simon Peter. अनि येशुले सिमोन पत्रुसलाई हेर्छ एन्ड ही आस्क्स हिम 3 टाइम्स अनि त्यसपछि तीन पटक सम्म सोच्छ साइमन सन अफ जोन डू यु लभ मी मोर देन दिस अनि त्यसपछि तिमीले तिमीले एस्केरे सिमोन करे अ ए सिमोनको छोरो योना इनर भन्दा तिमीले मलाई बढी प्रेम गर्छौ भनेर सोच्छ Now actually the, that was the first question Simon son of John do you love me more than these You na kere you mo bhanda inner bhanda badi prem garchau bhanera sochcha Now what Jesus is referring to and Jesus le yan le ke bhande bhande hununcha bhane is before the cross cross bhanda agari Jesus told the disciples that they all were going to desert him केरे सबैले उनीहरूलाई इन्कार गर्ने छ एन्ड व्हाट डिड पीटर से अनि पत्रुसले के भन्छ पीटर सेड इवन इफ ऑल ऑफ दीज लीव यू आई विल नॉट लीव यू ए सबैले छोड्ला तर म तपाईलाई छोड्दिन ज्यान जाला म छोड्दिन इन अदर वर्ड्स पीटर सेड आई लव यू मोर देन दीज गाइस डू अनि उहाँले जवाफ भन्छ के भन्छन् इनीहरू भन्दा मैले बढी प्रेम गर्छु भनेर उले भनिराछ दैट वाज पीटर्स प्राइड अनि त्यो चाहिँ पत्रुसको घमण्ड थियो आई लभ यू मोर देन एनीवन एल्स डज मरले भन्दा मैले बढी प्रेम गर्छु भने उसको घमण्ड थियो आई विल डाई विथ यू म तपाईसँग मर्न तयार छु भन्छ पीटर वाज फुल अफ प्राइड पीटर के पत्रुससँग घमण्डले भरिएको थियो एन्ड दैट प्राइड ह्याड टु बी क्रश्ड अनि त्यो घमण्ड चाहिँ चक्नाचुर पार्नु पर्थ्यो एन्ड डू यू नो व्हाट गॉड यूजेस टु क्रश प्राइड मोर देन एनीथिंग एल्स अनि परमेश्वरले घमण्डलाई तहसनास पार्न के प्रयोग गर्नु हुन्छ थाहा छ आवर फेलियर हाम्रो असफलता Peter failed. Patrus asfal bhayo. And so Jesus asked him now, Simon, do you love me more than these guys love me now? Ani the yesile sotnu huncha ke Simon, aba ke inner le bhanda tai le malai badi prem garchau bhanera sotnu huncha. And here's Peter's answer. He says, "Lord, yes, Lord, you know that I love you." Ani usle uttar ma chai kanchha, "Ho Prabhu, ma tapai lai prem garchu." But the Greek text shows us something here that we don't see in our language. Maybe you see it in your language. I don't know. Tapai ko bhasha ma huna sakcha tara yani Greek bhasha ma hamro bhasha ma na dekhine euta chuttai kuro ya cha. Jesus asked Peter, "Do you agape love me?" Yani r je ke ti mile mala agape prem garchau bhanera sodhya cha. "Do you love me with the greatest love?" Ke ti mile mala sabai bhanda bari prem garchau. When Peter answers Jesus, he says Yes Lord I phileo love you. अनि उहाँले चाहिँ उत्तरमा चाहिँ के भन्छ हो प्रभु म तपाईलाई फिलियो प्रेम गर्छु भन्छ। I am fond of you. अ म जनी तपाईलाई प्रेम गर्छु। I have affection for you. म तपाई सँग एउटा के रे घनिष्ठता छ। Is is Peter saying that he doesn't care for Jesus? अनि के पत्रुसले म येशूको लागि मलाई केही चासो छैन भनेको हो? No. होइन। What Peter is showing us is that his pride has been broken. तर यहाँ नि हामीले के फरक देख्छ भने अब चाहिँ पत्रुसको घमण्ड चक्नाचुर भएको छ. He is never going to boast of his great love for Jesus again. अब उले चाहिँ पहिला जस्तो म सबैभन्दा बढी प्रेम गर्छु भन्ने घमण्ड उसमा छैन. So then Jesus asked him a second time, Simon. अनि यशुले फेरि दोस्रो चोटी सोध्नु हुन्छ. Son of John, do you love me? You and you and I को छोरो के रे पत्रुस तिमीले मलाई प्रेम गर्छौ? 
Peter answers, Lord, you know that I am fond of you. Now, the first time, though, after Peter has said, you know that I'm fond of you, Jesus said, tend my lambs. The second time, after Peter said, I'm fond of you, Jesus said, shepherd my sheep. And then in verse 17, Jesus changed the word. And Jesus says, Simon, son of John, are you fond of me? And Jesus and Peter said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I am fond of you. And Jesus said, tend my sheep. It wasn't a question of Peter not loving Jesus with a great love. He did. Uh, but he was not going to brag about it anymore. He would not boast about his love. Now, how many times did Peter deny Christ? How many times did Jesus ask Peter, do you love me? Three. Peter denied Christ three times over a charcoal fire. How many times did Jesus ask Peter to affirm his love over a charcoal fire? Three times. You see, Jesus took Peter back. And he made him face his sin. And then he made Peter see that he had dealt with his pride. You see, Jesus knew that Peter's pride had been crushed. Peter didn't know. Jesus knew that Peter was ready to serve again. But Peter didn't know. And so Jesus put Peter back to work. And we never see Peter return to fishing again. He be becomes the bold preacher in the book of Acts. So Peter had a serious sin in his past. But he was still above reproach. He repented. He confessed. And he was changed. He was a new man. You and I may fail seriously. That is not the end of our story. God does restore. But we must deal with our sin. What I have found in my life is that I am a far greater sinner than I ever realized. The Bible really is true. Bible is true. I am bad through and through. But I have also learned that the grace of God is greater than I ever imagined. So, 
We can be above reproach if we, if we deal with our sin. Let's start this discussion on page 54 and then we'll call it a day. I want to at least get started in this because this may take a while. Paul then tells Timothy that the pastor must be a one-woman man. The husband of one wife. That means one woman man. It means that a polygamous man with more than one living wife cannot be a pastor. Yes, Komatlab, Bau Bibagareko, Ek Banda Bakere, Ek Banda Buddy, Keti Rubaiko, Srimati Bakere, Stribako, Manche, Pastor Una, Sogdena. When, when I was in Africa, Africa a Muslim imam, Muslim imam thiyo, came to Christ. He was teaching me the language. I was teaching him about Jesus. And several weeks into our meetings, he told me he wanted to become a Christian. I said, do you understand the persecution you are going to face? And he said, yes, I do. And he became a Christian. And his family came to Christ. And some of his neighbors came to Christ. And there was another man who wanted to come to Christ. And he came to me one day and he said, Pastor Mark, I want to trust Christ as my Lord and Savior. But I have a problem. I have two wives. If I become a Christian, what will I have to do about my wives? That's a good question. So I thought that that was a good teachable moment for the guys I was training. So I said, let's go to the Bible and let's see what the answer should be. And here's the answer that we came to. We came to the decision that it would be wrong for him to send one of his wives away because there would be nobody to care for her because he had children from both wives and that it would destroy the family unit and so my young believing or my young men told him you are going to have to love two women as Christ loved the church. But you cannot become a pastor. You cannot become a deacon. You cannot become a leader in the church. That is forbidden to you. But your children, you can raise your sons to be godly men, one woman men, and if they are qualified, they could become a leader in the church. And so that is the counsel that he received. That, that's complicated. Now some people said you should send one wife away or at least he can only have sexual relationship with one wife but not both. 
के रे शारीरिक संबंध चाहिँ एकजनासँग मात्र राख्न मिल्छ दुईटासँग मिल्दैन we didn't go that direction ani hami je tyo bato gaenau because we didn't see in scripture that that was what was demanded ani bible ma tyo kun chai garnu parne tyo chai ni tya ekdam spasha tokera bhaneko thiyena so we felt that to say to him you're going to have to love both of those women and no more wives ani hami le chai ke bhanya thiyena aba tyo dui tela prem garnu parcha aba aru jile hunu painna that was our decision tyo chai hamro thetikhar ko niyuna thiyo What do you think? Tapai la kasto lagcha? I agree. That was good. So he has two wives. Yeah. So would that man be qualified to be a pastor? Yeah, but who is any pastor? Who is your guest? Who is your guest? It's not a qualified pastor as a leader. Also, right. but the question is now he has a relation with the two ladies, two, right. two wives, right. two wives, two women, two women. not wife, two women. Two women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he did this after he became a believer. Yeah, uh, even he was leader. Yeah. Even when he was a leader, yeah. 
I think that man is in a very difficult position. Does he have children by the second wife? No. My thought is that he needs to break the relationship with the second woman, the wife. That was an adulterous relationship. So how do you repent from adultery when you have an affair? Uh, to return. You, you leave the woman and you go back to your wife. That's how you repent. So I think, I think too that the second marriage is not even recognized by God. That is an adulterous relationship. So not only should he not be a leader, he should be under church discipline until he returns back to his wife. So that, that church should place him under discipline. Because not only, you know, he's not qualified to be a leader for sure. But he's still carrying on an adulterous relationship that any believer would have to repent from. That's what I think. Please do.